Good morning. Um, we're at uh, Tom Stanton's house and I'm just about to deliver some teas. Uh, and we're going to go and set up the uh, the plane that I've, I've made. Good morning. Yeah, How are we doing? Some teas. Here's some tea. I'll have both. Oh, no, 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 come back. We've got the plane here and we're just about to set up all of the electronics and doing the programming. <laughs> Extreme measures. Have you got any tape? I should have asked that first, to be honest. Right then. Ah. So since I made all the electronics, I'm responsible for everything. <laughs> So we've had a bit of a problem. So the basically the there's a beat uh, a beck in there. So that's a battery eliminator circuit for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, basically it's not powerful enough to power all of the servos. It's got a large servo in here for the tilt mechanism, and with the other servos and the receiver, the voltage drop is too much, and the receiver as soon as it goes below five volts, the receiver cuts out. Right. So we need a stronger uh, beck to power everything. Explain that much better than I did. <laughs> So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of programming to do, but we so we're just going to sort of crack on with that. Okay, success. I'm just going to show. So this is what a normal flying wing delta plane would be like. So up elevator, down, and then aileron, and then we can flip this switch. So it enables these on the elevator channel. So now. The elevons and the thrust spectrum work at the same time. That looks so cool. As well as that, we've also got a differential throttle on this, so... That gives us the yaw then. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah for yaw control. It's looking pretty good. Um, we're going to go and get another cup of tea and then we're going to go and go out to the field. Yep. Cool. We're just going to do a bit of a rock, paper, scissors, see who gets to fly first. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, scissors. So I'm flying. Well, you can decide. Oh, yeah, you can decide. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you made it. the play. I'm flying so. it. Fine. <laughs> it's up to me. Right, let's go. <laughs> first test flight. Are you ready? Do it. Woo! <laughs> ready? Yeah. Flying. Oh god, it's going to be so sensitive in the in the different in the uh, thrust vectoring. Do some uh, do some like some slow flying to test how it stalls because you don't want to land it and it rolls over. It oscillates so much. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the uh, differential thrust helps a lot. What what needs trimming? Down. I need. To, I'm holding back back pressure so. Oh really? That, yeah, I need to click on the uh... Oh, yeah, it's because of thrust vectoring. I had no... I was full back there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it flies really nice. Yeah, it goes well. Yeah, no, without the thrust vectoring, I had... I was literally full back then. Yeah. Oh, it flies... It flies really well. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, it does actually turn with just the thrust vectoring. Yeah. That's just thrust vector in there, and that was no aileron. So I tried like a flip. So I tried like a thrust vector. Yeah, sure, yeah. Pull back. Hey! <laughs> thrust vectoring! Oh, check that out! <laughs> Mate, amazing. this is like a sukhoi. What's that sukhoi thing called? See if it goes vertical? Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. No. Oh, yes! <laughs> How was that to fly? It was actually quite nice. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's surprising, isn't it? We need to put some larger propellers on it. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Because either the battery was running out or it just needs some larger propellers. Yeah. Because it, it needed quite a lot of thrust to fly. Yeah. Um, but no, in terms of the actual flight characteristics, it's so it's really predictable. Yeah. And the that landing, I just, oh, I love it. Yeah, love you it. did an awesome job, well done. When you fly at that low speed, yeah. The Elevons don't need to do a whole lot because the, the motor's just 
just pull the nose up. Yeah, you, the, mo the motor actually does the work, doesn't it? I mean, I, I reckon we could land it just like... Bonk. Yeah, yeah, I reckon so, yeah. Right, let's go and get a cup of tea. So, what have we done, Tom? The previous flight mode was elevator uh, with the elevons and also with the thrust vector in the front here, which worked pretty well. However, now that we know that it flies, we might as well take it to the extreme. So, we have set up uh, a flap system, which usually doesn't work on a delta wing, because if you apply, uh, you know, down elevator on this, it just pitches the nose down. But when we flick this flap switch, <laughs> these act as flaps like on a regular wing, but instead of nose diving, these also pitch up. Those help it lift the nose up, yeah. Exactly. So we have the thrust at the front here producing lift, and we have the air being directed downwards by the air bonds to produce lift. And it goes even more to the extreme. Oh my goodness. <laughs> lots of lift at the front here from the thrust. Lots of lift at the back here from the air being directed downwards. But you know what the problem with this is? If we don't keep the throttle on, it's going to start pitching downwards. So at this point <laughs> in the flight mode, yeah. uh, the throttle now becomes the elevator. Changing the throttle, increasing the throttle will cause it to pitch up, decreasing it will cause it to pitch down. So which is probably going to be a bit difficult to get used to. We're going to have to try and get our heads around that, aren't we? <laughs> okay, so we're back out of the field again. We've changed the settings and yeah, time to fly, I suppose. So bad at launching. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna go into slow mode, middle. That's the middle. That's a bit weird. Increase the throttle a little. Oh, I turned the, the... I turned the thrust vectoring off. I just turned the thrust vectoring tilt mechanism off by accident. <laughs> and now high. <laughs> okay, so it's back to normal. It <laughs> just did a loop on us. <laughs> if you can call that a loop. So that means the throttle needs to go down more, right? Down. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't do it too low. Whoa, crap, crap. Pull the throttle and just let it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, that was a bit low. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That is such a good play. Oh, beautiful. This is middle. Any effect? There we go, that seems alright. Yeah. And go to full flat mode. Keep the part along. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What you gotta do? Yeah. You gotta let go of the elevator completely and just use the throttle. Work the throttle to keep the pitch. Just, just to control the pitch, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! As soon as the other ones lose airflow, it just it just goes like that. Yeah. What are we doing, James? Oh, um, well, we're seeing whether it will actually take off from the ground, which it shouldn't do, but it might rip itself to pieces on the ground, but we'll see. <laughs> Right, let's do it again. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I think your head was in the way. <laughs> Well, I took a risk. And it didn't pay off. <laughs> <laughs> this arm is completely bent up. It must have taken the whole impact. What do you think? Seriously. I'll tell you what, it's, it's a pain that it's crashed, but at least it was pilot error, not plane error. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> All right, then. Some interesting characteristics. Yeah. Um, yeah, to say the least. Yeah, what I really liked about it was the... Uh, low speed characteristics it was really nice to be able to have that sort of you know yeah landing. so that was good i think with this project we'll put it as a uh, as a thumbs up uh, and talking of thumbs up if you like this video then give this video a like <laughs> that was so smooth <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing another project with tom very soon so if you want to see that one then make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below and say what you liked about this project what i should be doing in the future and where you're from and just say hello and uh, yeah, that would be nice to read. So uh, yeah, catch you next time.